folks, Alec Pierce at the ranch, and today we're going to talk about toys. Yeah, ranch toys. You see, everybody sometimes, not everybody, but people have been amazed at how much we've done. We've rebuilt the windmill. I fixed the tractor myself. I did all kinds of things. Where would you learn all that stuff? I didn't go to farm school. You, have to, you can't go to fix anything school. No such thing. But when I was a kid, and all of my friends were the same, we had special toys. Toys that were mechanical and required hands-on, and sometimes they were dangerous, and they required matches and fire and explosions, and so they were great toys that made noise, and they ran, and sometimes they burned your fingers, and they got the floor wet, and you got yelled at, and ah, oh, they were great toys. You don't have those toys anymore. You don't get your fingers burnt. Well, apparently some iPads have blown up. One year, you do this, you know. Here's one of my toys from when I was a kid. 30, 35, 40 years old. I was a big kid. <laughs> Anyway, whether or not you buy this for your young son or daughter, or whether you buy it for yourself to play with, doesn't matter. It's a great toy. This is a steam engine. Now, steam engines come in all different types. I have a couple different ones. Maybe I'll show the other ones. Some. This is one of my favorites. This is my fire engine. That's right. And this is just a steam engine, but it's been made up to look like a fire engine. So I have a fire engine, you see, with wheels. And the steering wheel turns, you see, and the wheels turn, and the bell dings supposed to, and all that kind of stuff. So how does it work? Well, it's really very simple. This back here is a boiler, which I filled my half full of water, and then sealed the top. Here's the chimney. Now you got to heat the water up for steam engine. So here's a little, a little tray for fuel, and you use this little fuel like this, which is camp fuel. It's called Esbit. Camp fuel. Very, very common. It's used for all the, and it slides in underneath the boiler. It makes a whole lot of sense so far, right? Just like that. Why don't you heat up the chimney? Water's boiling. So now what happens is the water, uh, the, the steam, I should say, the steam runs from the boiler. And I want you to zoom in here a little bit, Kevin. Steam runs from the boiler over here through this pipe, you see, over here, past the engineer. He sits right here with his hand on the valve. This is the valve. And, and you turn the valve to make the flywheel turn. And then it goes into the actual piston. Now, I want you to turn this around for just a minute, Kevin, and, and you'll see how this piston works. It's pretty neat. And I'll start the engine, and you'll see the piston going up and down. So the steam comes here past the engine here, getting there, and, and into this piston. This is the piston. It's connected by a rod down to the crankshaft, which turns the shaft here. It turns the flywheel. But then inside of that, there's another rod here. It doesn't move very much. It's connected to the valve up here. The steam on here. I'll slow it way down. I'll get the engineer to slow it down. Uh, can you can you see on there, Kevin? Yeah. So you can see the piston over here is driving the crankshaft, and right beside it, maybe if you look on the top, you can see that little valve popping up and down. Yep. When the when the, when the piston gets to the end, the valve shuts off the steam. That's the steam run out. So now the big heavy flywheel keeps it going. And anyway, anyway, read about steam engines. So. Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, lots of steam. Okay, open the door. Just like that. And then, it puts it into gear, like this. And then, the engineer gives her some steam. Look up, turn, 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 like that. And that goes like that, and around the corner. And you see over here, there's a transmission over here. You can't really see it, but there's a transmission right there. You see? It's good. When you turn the transmission one way, the little gear turns this way, which chain, chain drives the back wheels. Pretty slick, huh? So this is what we used to use, play with, when I was a little boy. A genuine steam engine. Now, oh, this is another neat thing, too. When they get to the fire, they still got the steam engine running, right? So when they get to the fire, they take out the fire hose, and then what the engineer does, slows down the engine, and he throws the transmission the other way, like this. So there you go, fire hose. Look out, Kevin. Hope the camera's waterproof. Woo! Put out the fire. Look out, Diana. <laughs> there, Maggie. Oh, let's speed her up. We need more pressure. It's not a really bad fire. <laughs> I 
Alan Pierce at the ranch. Hope you enjoyed that. Get, get your uh, son or daughter a little steam engine. You can still buy them a whole lot of fun, buy them used or new, whatever. Give it a try. If you haven't used one yourself, you'll love it too. Take care. Got to go and fire up the boiler.